you've stuck out this marathon of sheet format and document template thus far we have a couple more items that uh, we can fill in with our sheet format so I'm going to open up the uh, the document and the other uh, videos previous video I read a uh, description of the uh, sheet format and the, the drawing template and it took me a minute to process which uh, the terminology being very similar so I'll read it again the sheet format file contains the drawing border title block standard notes smart notes linked to custom and special properties anchor points for tables and the custom properties so custom properties being file properties custom or in the case of the um, uh, assembly in part we also have the uh, the configuration but since this is just for the drawing we're going to have the custom properties for the um, for this document the document template then the uh, the drawing template uh, includes the document properties, the sheet format file, and any predefined views. So that's what we're going to uh, to work on is seeing what we can do with empty and predefined views. Okay, so one of the first things I want to do is take care of the document property for this uh, for this my landscape and this refers to our document properties and the overall drafting standard on the last video I had to reload so if I load from external file and I navigate back to my location and this uh, again could be in my documents but if you have a cloud drive uh, having this uh, this folder accessible to multiple computers will be um, uh, a lot more handy. So I've opened the ISO modified and we can verify that by picking uh, let's just say one of the dimensions and I've changed that over to DEMS. Um, this would be a good time to review and say do I need a bill of materials layer? Do I need a revision layer? And so we would go back to the, um, uh, to the layer and again, if you need to, you right click, go to the toolbars, and make sure that layer is selected or under view. And we'll come down to toolbars and make sure that layer is selected. And because my screen is uh, at a lower resolution to help with the video, it's kind of uh, compact. So I have it stuffed in the lower right corner. But you can. Uh, customize that position wherever uh, you would like so if I do a tab and then I want to pick a, um, a semi-visible maybe not uh, not too annoying of colors um, somewhere in the light green range all right so we can go back and change it once it's um, once it's in place so back into the uh, options, our document properties, and we'll just pick the uh, the bill of materials table and set it to the tab. Uh, the annotations, balloons, so we'll match those up and go to the tab. All right, so those couple little things, we're going to go back through the same process. Um, so based on what we just said, the document properties, I should only have to save as the drawing template, overwrite my A landscape, and hit save. And then because I'm in the DRWDOT, I want to make sure to close that. Anything I add make it will get saved with it. Alright, and then the double check is whatever changes we made, we're immediately going to go make sure that they stuck and so document properties my ISO modified and I go come down to the bill of materials and see that it's assigned to the tab all right so some of the things that we might want to uh, to add would be a useful 
Uh, let's see, yeah, that would be useful for us is company logos, although they um, uh, can have a detrimental effect if they're too big. I want to pick this image, and so if I can copy it to the clipboard, and this is just the um, Windows Photos, and I don't see that, so I'm going to have to either open it or, let's see, I'm over in Windows, and right click and copy. Let's see if it will, will paste. We can put in a link, but I've always had better luck. All right, so it doesn't like the file. So if I open it, oh, it opened back in. So I'm going to do a right click and open with. I have Earthen View, which is a uh, freeware, uh, shareware type uh, uh, program that we've used for quite a. Nope, didn't want to do that. Let's try the uh, <laughs> the edit copy. So that's going to put it on the clipboard. And I paste it, and this is 145k uh, kilobytes. So the reason that the 145 kilobytes is important is because the logos that I have made the mistake of having a real high resolution, uh, super duper cool 1 meg, and then had a... Um, uh, a drawing package that was 10 or 11 sheets and wondering why it was uh, 15 or 16 meg became because that image is added to every sheet and becomes part of the other uh, file. So uh, just realized that I did not put that on the sheet format. So I'm going to control X, edit the sheet format, control V. That came back in on size. And maybe about half the half to a third of the the size of the title block. All right, and then if we wanted to put in uh, another text notation, we could go into the note and the company information. So I'm in still in tab. So that might be another layer is the note. Uh, let's see. Okay, so making something up. And we'll find a uh, an interesting font and size it. So if I just stay with sizing point 0.2, And we're just going to look down and through and find something interesting. Usually the most annoying script that nobody can read. Alright, so plenty to, uh, to choose from. If I need a, another, we'll go, uh, we'll go at it. And I'm still in the annotations, so I want to make sure that I'm not dropping... Uh, more of those uh, notes, so maybe a new, oh, uh, a new <laughs> layer for um, for a title, and we'll pick a um, uh, color for it. Can pick, scroll down till we find, and set it to title. Okay, so the next thing would be to look at adding uh, a document note. So if there is more than one, or I want to break these into uh, separate annotations for whatever reason, this would be a good place to use an empty view. So on the uh, the drawing view and an empty view, 
Uh, it's not allowing me to put it on the uh, the sheet format. So since um, you know, that would be something to I could go with the title block uh, setting, or I could go with the we'll just apply the uh, the note to the corner. So since that would be modifiable, there's my empty view, and possibly would want to uh, move this uh, as a group. So let's apply an annotation to it. So with that currently selected, annotation note and item one, I would want to consider uh, some of the uh, the standard notes. Um, let's see, we did dimensions are in inches. It just um, Um, let's see, uh, remove, try that again, remove uh, all burrs. and sharp edges. And we'll give it a, um, a half millimeter 0.02 max, and then item two. Uh, let's do um, finished uh, parts uh, to be. Let's see. Let's make it shall be free of oils. Lubricants and other contaminants. Make sure I can spell contaminants. <laughs> and item three. Um, unless otherwise specified, engraving will say we shall so shall be uh, two millimeters point oh eight inches slash two millimeters in height. Um, I know there's a way to, I should have just done that. Let's do that uh, as an example. And height and um, and whatever our standard uh, font. So we would need to provide that single point font for it to be, uh, to be useful. So if I go over here and say all uppercase, even though I mixed and matched, that will... Um, put it in a little bit closer um, to what I needed. <clears throat> so we got that all cleaned up with um, a few notes. And let's um, double check the, uh, the font. So the Century Gothic is, uh, is fine. I uh, want those to be a little bit smaller, so maybe we'll just to go to points and go to 8 points, 83, take a look at what that looks like, and attach that. And so the font, that looks pretty good. We're starting to use up some of that space that we, uh, we saved. And so the advantage of, let's go ahead and add one more real quick. Okay, so since those are applied, even though they're separate annotations, they will move with the uh, the empty view. And so I can have different sizes. So since uh, I want that one maybe a little bit bigger, but not too much bigger, and then position it 
we can go that route. So what that does is none of this is on the uh, the top layer or the, um, uh, the on the sheet format. So this is something that can be edited without um, going through the uh, through the process. The other thing would be to put this on the sheet format and then go in and create the title block. Let's see, um, sheet format, um, the title block fields, um, select that so that it can be modified and, and, and changed. I think this might be a little bit easier and it doesn't look like I can re uh, size that empty layer. So as an example, that works um, that works pretty good. And we will make sure to save the sheet format because some of this is on the format level. And then some of this will be attached to oops, did that twice. And if some of this will be attached to the uh, the um, the document to the drawing template. And once again, we will test. Make sure everything comes in. Okay, so I want to go through the, um, the process again for a predefined view. And the sheet format should remain the same but with the predefined views uh, added in, I would say that based on our description, the drawing template carries those, uh, those views. So um, a drawing view, come over to a predefined view and place it. And we're just going to leave it as a default for the front view. And then my initial logic, I had to go back and read again was to just go ahead and create additional predefined views. Well, that um, means that each one has to be populated individually and that doesn't really help us that much. But a projected view uh, uses the predefined view as a parent and so I can drag off a right view and then come over projected view, drag off an, uh, an isometric view and those will be related to the parent front view. So if I save this as my document template again, except this time my a landscape uh, will do um, predefined. All right, so just pre is good. And Again, with the uh, the test, my A landscape comes in without, so I can go through that uh, process normally. And if I go into the predefined, and probably should have put that first, we're going to have the predefined views. And then if I right click, go into insert model or drag a model in, we can browse. And I need to, uh, we'll just take the, uh, the last uh, exercise and I'll bring in the hex bolt. And that populates. And then since I would like to see that from the bottom, we go ahead and accept it. And there's one that uh, keeps coming back. So that would be um, uh, my next, uh, next check is to make sure that the origins get turned off. So if I, those, now that came in because of the current view, I did not change it. So let's go ahead and fix this and try and wrap this up till the next time I think of something that I want to add to my, uh, my landscape. So we're going to come up and turn off the origins. File save as. See if this is something that's going to be carried just for the uh, the document template and the A landscape. Okay, close new. Yep, 
and the origin is turned off. And other than just having to do it, uh, do it twice, I think I will rename that to uh, uh, have a little better description, or at least visible description. All right, so another save as, and then pretty. So it will just be predefined my landscape. All right, so one more test for the predefined. Um, asking for the uh, for the model. So in this case, I would probably go ahead and turn off the uh, the command. Um, insert model or drag from from uh, Windows or from an open document uh, assembly or part. And we go to the, oh, so let's make sure that we're in the per standard because that's going to stay kind of modal. Whatever the last one that was picked is what it's going to stay with. And yes. And so my center line is correct, or my center mark is correct. My predefined view has populated out. The only thing I would really need to, uh, to double check is the custom scale if I wanted to go a little bit smaller. For the uh, for the detail, and now I'm ready to, to start in on the details. If we go into the the next sheet, and that one came back interesting. All right, so I still have work to do on this. Uh, the image didn't stay, and the uh, base. so that's why we're always checking. Hey, okay, pause for a few choice words, and then let's uh, let's take a look at fixing this. So we edit the sheet format. I'm going to go ahead and do a control B for the rebuild, see if it still comes back. And I saw the symbol. So is that an anchor point? Uh, not sure what that point is doing. Sketch endpoints and can be deleted. So I'm not sure where that came from. So I don't know if that is part of this uh, this anchor. Let's go ahead and um, rebuild one more time. So this should uh, hopefully take care of my, my ghost. So I'm going to go ahead and save this sheet format. Uh, let's see, sheet 3 was just to test. So I can right click and delete. So this is the corrected. As far as the image, I just needed to rebuild and let the um, let the image come back. So quick double check, file, save sheet format, my landscape, save it. And I was in the uh, the sheet format. So and no, uh, we don't want to save document. Alright, so if I need to do anything to the document template, I think properties pretty much just reload and make sure everything's current. Apply the changes. Just to be on the safe side, I will do the save as and the drawing template, and then this will be for that one. And then one more check, and we'll add another sheet and see if it comes back. All right, so Control B brings the image in, and until it pops up again, we're going to call that one good. And then I just happened to notice that my notes are on the first page which came in with the document template when I added the second sheet because they're not part of the sheet format it uh, it doesn't uh, carry over to the uh, the additional sheets so I have to decide if I want this uh, these notes to uh, be on every page in the document in which case I would cut those out uh, would not need the uh, the empty view per se could 
like I mentioned, make that part of the modifiable title block and go through that process uh, of adding uh, any any afterthought notes uh, manually or specific to that uh, that drawing. So still have some decisions to make, but at this point the, the debug is to use this um, sheet format template and make sure that it is working correctly. So just a real quick reminder, and if we go back to the previous uh, documents, I've made those changes. I would like them to be implemented on these sheets. Make sure that I'm right-clicking and going to the properties. Should be pointed to the correct. So if I reload, let it do its scale and apply changes. And again, the notes aren't going to come through because they're part of the document template, not the sheet format. And I would either need to do that to all of the So if I reload and select Sheets to Modify 2 and 3, and Apply Changes, and then Control-B to Rebuild. Nope, and didn't, uh, didn't come through, so worst case is to reload each one individually. All right, so one way or another, we're going to get it in there and uh, have the um, the changes uh, reflected in our uh, our document.